Hello viewers. We're gonna do some goofing around at the pole barn today and then we're gonna head over to Doug's. He's fixing another race car. So check it out. <laughs> Okay, so here is a replacement bed for my daily driver. Um, this truck was in pretty good shape. The guy that I got this bed from put a flatbed on his truck and posted this one for sale for a reasonable price. It was a hundred and a half, I think. But, uh... At least the tailgate closes. And... It looks like it could go through a car wash. It's not horrible. It's all bedlined. Inside, also. And then, like, the bottom half up to that body line a lot of people do that and the tailgate I think was worth more than the whole bed but it's in good shape all the bolts came with it and we went and picked it up in the middle of summer and Doug stored it and so I borrowed his trailer drop it off here I'll, I'm just gonna spray some of that stop rust spray paint um not really here but underneath just so i can get the bolts in and out because i did post on facebook a video of the fuel pump on that truck just absolutely jetting gas out of a little pinhole um on the fuel pump and when i took the bed off to do that it's the first time I ever took the bed off to change a fuel pump, and it's very easy. So we're going to do that from now on. And I do not recommend picking up the bed by these corners because it'll bend it. Kind of did bend it a little there. So learn from that lazy mistake. But yeah, this will go on that truck. Oh, that's not the intro I wanted to get. So without giving away too many secrets, we don't know what this car is, right, Doug, or do you? Old. Old. So this one, so we saw a front clip of off of this jig, but we haven't seen a back clip. And I think we're just gonna need to do like a full car documentation. What do you think, Doug? Sure. But a this, new car. what's that? A new car. A new car, yeah. Cause this has been a lot of fixing. So you already did all the hard stuff here, right? Pretty much. All the cutting. And then basically you got the front end on, right? I didn't even look. The front end. Yeah, the front end fits the jig. Fits the jig, so then the back end is just going to get... Retrofitted to a, a new car. Okay, retrofitted, okay. And I mean, I don't know. I haven't, been, I haven't seen you do a rear clip, but I think a front clip's harder. What do you think? Mm, 
No, there's more stuff to the back. More stuff, okay. Oh, and then, you know what, I forgot you're doing a rear end for this too, huh? Yeah. So it'll get a, a rear end. The only thing is, laying there, this is just sitting where it's gonna go. This mount goes up here or something, right? Mm -hmm. yep. So, otherwise you got her set up, basically. Do you worry about the cage? There's a bar that locates where the where you build the roll cage. Do you even have to worry about that one on this jig? No, nope, not yet. You'll just basically do all your... Oh yeah, your plates too, huh? Yeah, three lamp mounts. And... Well, don't let me get in your way. I'm gonna goof around. Pretty fascinating, but yeah, we're gonna have to do a full... You know what I wait? Just chip away at it. Because we showed the back. Now, we're gonna show the back. We've seen a front, which is really cool. So then we gotta just go ahead and show the whole thing at some point. But this one will be the back, so check it out. This car is getting the front clip. You guys have seen a video on that. But this is the goal of what's going on this car that Doug's working on right now. All these tubes, this is an overslung frame. Three link setup, white jack. And he's gonna retrofit all that on that chassis that's on the jig right now. Because you're gonna do, you gotta make some kind of. Because it's overslung frames, so. These type of supports, they're pre measured. Fits right on the back of the jig. And you can line that up. And because the jig is located by the front lower control arms, lower control arms, holes, bolt holes, then you can put a new rear clip as they say.
So I forgot to mention in the video that this car is also getting an X brace or an H brace, whatever you want to call it. So Doug's working on that right now. This thing's under some major construction. It's like Minnesota roads from May until September. Must have done that before, huh? Grinding metal.
major part of the rear end here. Got a good little head start on her. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, the cutting off and the prepping is a lot, right? You know. But yeah, this thing you'll have you make a lot of progress in, you know. The before and after shots. 